my journey I started uh, I was, um, I, I, up to the, up to when I was four years old there wasn't much journey because I wasn't later diagnosed I however have been living with it since at least I was known to be diagnosed around four, four years old um, it's been kind of annoying at times mostly just with the tastes of medicine <laughs> And the quantity sometimes, but uh, because of my particular case with diabetes, some of those have not really changed as much as they probably should or would in a normal person. Basically, well, I did experience because of how I'm trying to manage things with diabetes and try to get just a ton of carbs. I end up not doing what I'm supposed to be doing, which is the three times a day or two times a day. Sometimes I do, uh, and that's generally like when I'm off for the days to kind of relax. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's just hard to remember in the morning just because it's like I get quick to work. It's e definitely, e I'm, through my experience, it's definitely easier to pop some of that medicine during lunch than it's breakfast. Um, but on average... I uh, experience of generally I can't really tell unless it's like because of so many other compounds like just st either staying up or stress really homework or other things that some those things they definitely have um, the issue definitely has an effect on those elevations and sometimes I can definitely feel a little better though with just how my personality is I tend to either be moody or anxious <laughs> Well, it's really the challenges I would say is from like I said when I was young that there's the it, it issues with the taste stuff and trying to figure out the best way to uh, digest it or mix it in or, or um, uh, other issues I've had relating to my diet are just one insurance is big obvious. It's, I was thankful enough to I was thankful enough to get through the the hominix to the state, but the system in up until this year cost over a hundred dollars per month or per twenty day, roughly twenty twenty four days, and now it's down to like twenty dollars, which is a lot nicer, but at the expense of other things, um, and. Uh, or what the rest of the question? Oh yeah, the p complications. Um, but even with the uh, with the allotment, because of just how the ma mailing can be, sometimes I do m miss my thing. Like on last week, I can't remember weekend before, or I, it was I basically missed like th the three um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday because oh they can only get to Tuesday because of certain business holidays or government holidays or whatever. Or it's just mail system. Other complications would involve figuring, finding out that soda does not uh, mix with the system. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and it was like a kind of, at first I thought it just was bubbling and had some kind of reaction, but then I found out from and Garrett over that it actually doesn't, and it's like, well, I'm not doing that. <laughs> well, my biggest concern really is just the future, really. I mean, part of it, I, I'm feeling somewhat optimistic because things are somewhat improving, but so much particular is to just get, mm, like, micromanaged. That's because either regulatory or or business is not, and insurance stuff not really knowing these specific issues and the complications uh, as a compared to a more generalized thing and especially with the the ver uh, the three or four of whatever various um, variations of, or mutations of HCU and potentially future even more as th especially as the uh, disease becomes more common oh as I said I'm I guess hope is that things definitely get better. Some of these 
enzyme therapy probably hope um hopefully it's more in there whether or not it gets approved for under the right circumstances for people in general or people with certain this uh, degree um, mutation or this age group or whatever those are nuances but I can understand sometimes sometimes <laughs> that's just how way things are and keep hoping keep trying and and if you find that there's an issue with your insurance or something another talk to someone like the uh, insurance person we had at this conference or try to be a, your own personal advocate in a sense just to make sure you're getting your medicine and actually getting in a realistic time thing whether or not you have to say um, uh, um, say uh, if you can get it early because of just the fact that it's a weekend and shipping doesn't always come on Saturday or